You see, there's this kangaroo on the side of the road. Like this, like this. <laughs> he come out um, and he looked at the V-Strom coming past. <laughs> and he thought, no, fuck that. Off he went. So this is where we left off in the last video. We're leaving Cobar and we decide to go up to the Fort Burke Hill Lookout and Open Cut Mine just to see what it's like. So here it is, guys. We're on an adventure, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. Hey? Hey? Look at them big pipes. Where? Yes. That's probably for the shit plant. Don't breathe too heavy, will you, you Mrs. BBA? I won't breathe at all. <laughs> Oh no, no, that would never happen, will it, eh? That's it there, I could have brought the bot strom up into here. You could have. Yeah. Couldn't I? Yep. Wow, look at it. Right, we're here. Found it, haven't we, babe? Oh. Oh, look at that. Sound like you have an orgasm. <laughs> That's the pit. Can you see any ants down there? See underground there? Goes underground. Oh, yeah. Mmm. What do they say about it? New gold, peak gold mines, babe. Can you see any gold down there? Yeah, go down and get it, can you? <laughs> Can't get out of this cage. Story of your life. The new Cobar underground mine that is accessed from the Fort Burke Hill open pit is the site of the first gold mine to begin production in the area. It is a spectacular area and quite popular with tourists as there is a lookout constructed where visitors can view the deep pit and entrance to the new Cobar underground operation. You coming, madam? Yeah, man. Or you want to go in the pit? <laughs> If I laugh at you, that just means it's stupid. Because that's the pit at Cobar. It's a wonder we found it. You nearly couldn't find the big sign. That's not me breathing, guys. That's her, by the way. Not me. Walking. <laughs> She's just walking. She just walking. She'll, she'll hold her breath all the way down here now. Right, yeah. <laughs> she's not too, yeah, she's trying not to breathe now. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there she is. As you can see, we're in our vests today because it is a warm, going to get warmer. Beautiful views up here, though, isn't it? Beautiful. Which, yes, I'm talking about the V-Strom there, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Kim's just cleaning the visor so she can see where she's going. Aren't you, my darling? I am. Okay, you done? Yes, thank Let's you. Let's go. Let's do this town. Our little friends. Between Cobar and Dubbo there was a hell of a lot of wildlife on the road, especially wild goats. Little goats. <laughs> little goats. This is what they don't run out on the side of the road. They blend in. Yeah, they do, don't they? I've seen them moving. No. They run funny, don't they? As long as they don't run on the road, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Just here, babe. Hello, little goat. <laughs> Oh God, he's well, on his own. <laughs> no, there's another four going off. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. He was just hooning around on his own. Yeah. I don't know if we'll find a straight to pass these guys. What's that? I don't know if I'll, we'll find a straight to pass these guys. <laughs> so well, that was an understatement. Finding a straight on the way from Cobar to Dubbo is not very hard. It's straight all the way through. Okay, so we're coming into Ningen, aren't we, my dear? Yep. A very straight road from Cobar through to here. Very straight indeed. Lots of big animals. Yes, there is. Bogan River, babe. Bogan River. Geez, Bogan River looks a bit swampy. It does. It doesn't look the best. I don't think I'd be drinking out of that. Well, there's the Caltech servo. Should we fill up there, babe? There's a I shield reckon, there. Yeah, we'll go into the Caltex and just top her up. Just a splash and dash. What have we got here? Unleaded 98. So we might try and find some brekkie or something. 
Yeah. What do you reckon? Yep. There's the big bogan. On the left, babe. Oh, yes. Oh, we've got a coffee shop here. Got a coffee shop, sandwiches, cakes, pies and drinks there. Yes. Oh, is it open? I think so. There's a table out the front. No, it's a closed. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's the other side, isn't it? Yep. This is Ningen, New South Wales, guys. We'll go up the end here, just have a look, turn around, but... Yep. Oh, there's a the helicopter there, sweetie. It is. Helicopter. Ningen Museum. Story of Ningen. Alright, we'll do a U-turn, okay? Yep. Nothing come behind you, babe? No. Nah. No? Clear? Clear. Bit of loose stuff there, so just be careful. Not much, but... Not much! Well, we might head back to the bakery. Yeah. There's a cafe there, too, on the left. But that other one's right next to the big bogan. There's a car park right next to it there. Oh, yeah. Righty-o, yeah, so this is... This is... What is it? Ningen! Ningen, Ningen, Ningen. So we might have a bit of brekkie here, I reckon. What do you reckon? I reckon. Then we'll go for a walk over here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sign off. Where are we? We're in Indian and we're having the sun. From? Egg and bacon roll at the big bone. Is that what it is? I don't know. But, but anyway. We'll catch you and we'll take you out the park a bit later. Won't we? Okay, bye. Okay, here we are, guys. We're at the big bogan, aren't we? <laughs> That's it, right there. The big bogan is in Ningen, New South Wales. And that's where we are right now. I'll take you for a little look see of him. There he is. That sun might be in your way a bit, maybe. Oh, I don't know. We don't know what's in his esky. Nah. Look, Kim will have a look, see what's in his esky. That's his esky right there. The big bogan esky. Just a seed, is it? But that's him there. Look at him. He's big, isn't he, eh? What? He's in his... Yeah, you dirty bitch. Get out of there. <laughs> anyway, we're on the way to Dubbo. We just thought we'd show you the big bogan. He's a big bogan, isn't he? He's big. Yes. Okay, so you're the guy that came up with the the idea, the, the idea. and we've got Bogan Coke now. <laughs> so Share a behind, Coke. <laughs> so what was behind the idea of it? I didn't want anybody else to pinch the idea because when we're, we're, we're Bogan Shire, yeah. we're Bogan River, yeah. we're Bogan this and that, and and we're not down and out on drop kicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're from Tassie, and uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that. Uh... Oh, well, you've got two added people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, there, there you go. go. <laughs> There's a few bogans here, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're doing an email. We're, we're, I want it for a publication. Yeah, right, well, it's okay. good. It's bringing people here, which that's is the main thing. Yeah, hmm. That's, that's exactly it. Right. People yeah. like you. That's yeah. right. Have a little bow peak, eh? I filmed the helicopter. Yeah, that's the helicopter. We make it look like we're going here now. The Ningen Museum. Yep, we can walk through over there, babe. Oh, yeah, cool. So, if we park... Just park over here. Kim is currently missing in action. I don't know where she is. But, I do tell you one thing, it's fucking peaceful. That's for sure. I'll take you over and I'll show you the helicopter. Look at him. That is the helicopter right there. RAAF. 
It's him right there, as you can see. In memory of the crash of Sea King Shark 2. Well, that's not good at all, is it? <laughs> not at all. Anyway, that's an Ingham Museum there, Information Centre. Story of Ningham. Don't think we need to go there at the moment. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. She's back, it's about to get noisy, let me tell you. Yeah, no, it's about to get noisy. Because she's back. Where you been? Toilet? Oh, old women in their bladder. So we're at some roadworks at the moment, aren't we? And of course, there's a water tanker up in front of you somewhere. Yep. And what did we do last? Down outside too. Oh, fuck, I know. He's just wetting it. Oh, fuck, I know. Yep. Uh, and we just cleaned the bikes again last night, didn't we? We did. Yes. And Had a heap of dust get, on them. Gotta get my fucking boots dirty. <laughs> he's gonna get everything dirty, I think, babe. <laughs> fuck, I know. Oh, well, we'll see what happens, eh? I might have dropped a couple of burnouts in front of Kim. No <laughs> <laughs> uh, respect for bikers, these uh, bastards. Is that the water tanker coming through yes. here? Yes. Are we going? We yes, go. we're about to go. We'll have a look, see how wet this road is, eh? It's going to be wet because he just wet it. Done a little pat, so, isn't it? Hang back, hang back. Hang back. Hang back, Fred. I'm hanging. I'll get this bit in the middle here. Uh, it's not too bad, babe. Just don't get too close to me. Well, we've just pulled over and... Where are we? Now I'm mine, aren't we, babe? Not far out of Dubbo. And we are just having a drink and a bit of a stretch on the legs, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. Yep. And we're about to hit the road again. The home of Glen McGrath. We'll Narrow see him Mons. over there in a minute. News. No, we're not going back that way. Oh, we're, we? we're going straight ahead this way, babe. Past cop shop. Oh. Yep. Round flash your, left, flash your tits out as you go past the cop shop, babe. <laughs> <laughs> see what they do. See if they chase you. Could cause an accident. Yep. Do you want a ladder? <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, right. Yep. Cool. Oh, the big beast. I heard a fire up. Oh, the big beast, The eh? big beast. Doesn't first look too bad of a little place, does it? Yeah. It's the first time I've been in there. It is. Anyway, we'll progress down to Dubbo. Which is... How far away, babe? 37 k's away. So we'll catch you down the road a little bit further, guys. Well, we're about to come into Dubbo, aren't we, my dear? We are. All we got to do is find somewhere to live. Haven't been in from this side of Dubbo before, have we? No. It's all new, isn't it, babe? Yeah, we've been here before. <laughs> well, not this side. So, we've just got to go over the bridge, round around about and over a bridge and find somewhere to live. The zoo's up there to your right. Yep. At roundabout. Oh, he had an indicator it on, didn't did, he? That's yes. what I thought. Okay, so we've got a plethora of motels to choose from up here, haven't we? Yep. Well, we hope we've got a plethora with vacancies. <laughs> and it's your decision. No, it's not mine, just in case I make the wrong one. Doesn't matter. So we've got that one there where we've stayed at before. On the right. That one, babe? Yeah, that one. There they are. We got the shingle shed, the shearing shed. Stayed there before. Yep, stayed there before. Stayed at that heritage one. Yeah, uh, that one there. They're still renovating. What's that one there? On the right. The country. Something. What's that look like? Oh, we had a mill there, didn't we, one night? Hmm. Or oh, you got the Dubbo City Motor Inn. 
We'll see if we've got a vacancy. It doesn't say it doesn't. No. Nah. This is where all those old cars were that time. Yep. So after a bit of riding around, we decided on the Aberdeen Motel, just around the corner from the main street in Dubbo. This is our abode for the night, isn't it? It is. What did I just do with the key? Right there. <laughs> You're about to go for a swim later. It looks nice. You're about to get your sexy on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there's a shopping trolley here for you to go and get me some groceries. <laughs> It's a, cold, you know, it's a cold one though, babe. Do you know where my sexy is? Yeah. Haven't what, said it for years. Oh, you let it fly in here. Oh, Jesus. How come it was me? I was waiting for you to come through the door. <laughs> so why is it me? Yeah. All right. Bike stuff over there. There she is right there coming in through the door. <laughs> you got you got them bikes unpacked yet? Mm -hmm. oh, about bloody time. Been in for an hour and done nothing. Who? You. That's what I meant to be. I'm on holidays. Just filming. I'm on holidays, babe. Yeah. How's that panning out for you? There's the love. That's panning out pretty bloody good actually. <laughs> I bet it is for all the woolies too. I bet it is too. G'day everybody! Give me Russ Adventures again, isn't it? Yep. Highway of dreams, on two wheels, we're still on it, aren't we? Yeah, not even a week in, you know, and we're having a ball of a time. Yep. Beautiful day, we've just pulled up at Dubbo by the way, see that? A couple of giraffes making out on our wall. Maybe Rusty might get lucky in there later, eh, and get the mate make out. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we've got a beautiful day out there, probably 27, 28 degrees at the moment. Mm -hmm. We just hopped off the bikes, had a shower. Now, we come up from Cobar today, didn't we? We did. Straight roads all the way through. But, lots of wildlife again, wasn't there? Yep. Lots of emus, snakes. You ran over a snake. Ran over a snake, didn't I? Again, and it was alive. Two days in a row. Didn't yep. run over Yessie, ran over one today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she reckons I was just trying to get the snake to get her because I always reckon the second one in line will get it. Mm. Is that? That's that. Trying to flick it up on me, he was. But then there was other things too. There was emus, mm -hmm. goats, goats, mm -hmm. sheep, stumpies. Mm -hmm. I told you we didn't even have to come to Dubbo to go to the zoo. Mm -hmm. We're fucking certain. And then there was kangaroos. It was kangaroo happy hour, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, it was. Hey, oh, yeah. this I'll show them. Talking about a zoo. Oh. Russ. No. Oh, this I'll show them. You see, there's this kangaroo on the side of the road. What is? Like this. He come out and he looked at the V Strom coming past and he thought, no, fuck that. Off he went. And you know what? I looked back in the fucking mirror. I looked back in the mirror and here he is shitting on Marley. <laughs> v Strom scared the fucking life out of him. In the back. Yeah. No, true story, true. True. True's on bloody sitting here in fucking Newcastle. I think they let you out of the fucking zoo. <laughs> no, we're in Dubbo. Anyway, I'll just show you the room. Look, look. So, you're not a bad room. Sorry, sorry about the camera there, but it's adjusting to the light. That's our, that's our little mess. There, there's the old girl over there. She's still with me, yes. As you know. Say hello to them all. Hello to all. Yep. Here's the bathroom. Yep, that's a shitter. And that. That's the mirror. <laughs> anyway. It's time to go. We've got to go down the street. We've got to do the grog run. You know the grog thing? Yep. Hasn't even had a fucking drink yet. <laughs> That's true. I'm busting for a fucking drink. But anyway, we got some good news and we got some bad news. The good news is we might be meeting up with Darren Sale in Melbourne and Amanda. The bad news is we could be we could be spending a few fucking days with them. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Poor Darren Amanda. <laughs> Well, actually, well I poor... thought it was the bad news for us. No, no, poor Amanda and I. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Dazza and I will go off on our own if we have to. Anyway, mm. this is getting a bit long. We've got to go. There you go. Oh, Welcome, everyone. She just said size 12 and she's fucked. I think she's going <laughs> to 16. <laughs> <laughs> is that right, babe? Is that what no, you said? No, 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 no. This is a nice little room, this one. In the it, babe? It's all right, yeah. It's okay? $150, can't oh, I? yeah, I suppose you can't argue with that, can you? Well, this is outside, and the bikes, as I've said always, 
prior to place. Look at that, absolutely beautiful, isn't it, eh? We've got our pool right over there in the yonder. A little barbecue area over there. I reckon we'll probably go over there later. Not for a barbie, just for a drink. Jacaranda trees there, palm trees there. And this is the complex. And I've already mentioned the bikes, haven't I? So, what do you think of that, guys? It looks pretty good, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> but I'm going now. We're going down the street. We've got to find a bottle shop and um, get a couple of refreshments because we've been on the road. We've come from Cobar today, as you know. If you've been watching all the videos, you already know that. So we've come from Cobar straight as a die road, that one, straight as. Um, kangaroo happy hour there, I think, too. Wonder Bo. Oh, at some stage it was. At some stage it was, but never mind. The, um, the show I'm, must go on. What'd you say? I said the show must go on. show always goes on. So, we're hitting the boardwalks right now, off the bikes, walking down the street to the bottle shop. See you guys. Well, off we went down the main street and found the old bank restaurant. Do you think we stopped in there for a drink? <laughs> of course, Kimmy Rust did. <laughs> One or two, not many. And then, the bottle shop and back to the motel for a while. Well, we made it back to the motel, okay? So we had a few more drinks here, waiting before we went to tea. Well, you've got to do something while you're on holiday, so you might as well drink and have fun, modern you. Just what now? checking to see what you're doing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm waiting for some woman to get ready to go to tea. Who are you waiting for then? Well, I don't know. I'll tell you what, if I find something, I'm off out of here. Right. Yeah. She's got to be able to ride though. I'll oh, still ride, don't worry. On the back of your bike? <laughs> I didn't yeah, like on the, the back sound. of the bike. But didn't anyway. like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah. You going to dinner looking like that? Yep, my word I am. All right. Okay. All right, I'll go and get ready then, eh? Yeah, cool. <coughs> he thinks I'm going to be fucking quick. He's wrong. And yes, I had to wait a fair while for her to put that makeup on. But well worthwhile. What a great place this RSL club is in Dubbo. Great meals. Here comes my darling. He's cleaning up and ordered our meal. Here he comes. What are your drinks? Thanks, babe. That's your last one for the night. And they've got tourists. That's your last one for the night. You've, you've done had, a good job. You've had too many. You've done a good job. All right. Been and ordered our meals. I've said before, if you're going to do a job, do it properly. Yeah, and you told him to bring it to the table. Yep, I told him. Yep. And you now, bring that suck to the table. And you got the good stuff. Bar. Yep. Tourists. Yep. Yep. He's gonna get darling. I love taking him on holidays with me. 